Kramer, short drop right, fires for more up, touchdown! Quarterback Eric Kramer, Pat. Buck showing blitz. Rodney back, got a block from Barry. Goes long, right, Herman Moore just catches at the 30, 25, 20, Herman down the sideline, 50, 10, still going to the five, and in, touchdown! Oh my goodness, he carried a bucket. Other dynamic contributors to the Lions' offensive future include Herman Moore and Brett Perriman. 10 to 7, the run and shoot offense with Kramer trying to bring his team back. Flipping to Herman Moore, who beats Chris Dishman and goes 77 yards, and the Lions are up 14 to 10. Start today. And he looked, he slipped and slid. And looked for Herman's Moore. Downfield, makes the catch, getting to the pack. Where would get better? Here he hits Herman Moore. You want to see a nice play right there. Touchdown, 11 yards, 28. Uh, of course he's not going to do that. Play action fake and goes 42 yards to Herman Moore. And that leads to. And in just his second season, Moore became the Lions' primary long ball threat. When he averaged almost 19 yards a catch, it was the highest average in the NFL for players with more than 50 for catches. Herman Moore. Incumbent quarterback Rodney Pete, Eric Kramer, and Andre Ware, number 11, all connected with Herman Moore in 1992. Next week against Chicago, Herman Moore provided the magic. Andre Ware rolls right, pumps once, and goes long. Herman Moore at the 40, and he's got and rookie kicker for the Lions' next bona fide All Pro, Herman Moore, number 84. At 6'3, 210 pounds, Moore is an imposing target. His strength, fluid movement, and amazing leaping ability allow him to adjust to the ball in flight. In just his third NFL season, Moore has become one of the premier wide receivers in the game. So open is Herman Moore, waits on it, up for it, and in 1993, Moore added a career-high 61 catches and another 935 yards to his resume and led all Lions in touchdowns. Herman Moore's first touchdown of the year, plus three Jason Hansen field goals, led to the Lions' first opening day win in five years, 30 to 13. 14 yards and a first down. The quarter changes. We go the other way. Pete to Herman's Moore for the 13-yard touchdown. We're tied at seven. And that Pete Herman Moore connection works again. A great catch over the middle and brought down by Dwayne Harper. Then Moore again over the middle. You gotta love this, TJ. He fights his way into the touch into the end zone. 14-7 Lions. You said it, Robin. A nice slant to Herman Moore, but then he's that Jerry Rice-style receiver. Big, strong, tough, can run through people and get into the end he zone. He is tough to bring down. All in the first half, eight catches, 98 yards, and two touchdowns. Herman Moore contributed eight catches for 98 yards and his first two-touchdown day as a Lion. And the Detroit special teams were extra special. Huge breaks. But they didn't wait for the breaks to happen. They made them happen. Beginning with the fourth longest pass play in team history, 94 yards. Wide open, Herman Moore at the 45. Far side 50. It's a foot race to the end zone. Herman Moore to the 2015. 10-5 and see you later. Touchdown, Lions. When number 19 made his Lions debut, a memorable one. Other questions. Would Herman Moore step up to become one of the elite wide receivers in the NFL? He was well on his way, had the most to prove. That he was the kind of quarterback who could shake off a sluggish first half. And Mitchell under center. Mitchell the throw. Mitchell caught. Touchdown, Lions, Herman Moore. What a great throw by Scott Mitchell again. The Lions forged a 17-3 lead. Scott Mitchell, one more shot down by 13, hits Herman Moore for a touchdown, and the Lions have cut it to six. On the season, a six straight 1,000-yard season. Lions on the one, Scott Mitchell for Herman Moore. At first, it's ruled incomplete, but, but wait a minute, TJ. Yeah, Moore, a great job here of getting up. You watch him clutch the ball right there. Once his feet hit the ground in the end zone, 
That's a catch at six. It is ruled a touchdown, 25-8. Allowed themselves to be counted out. Pressure up the middle. Mitchell fires to the end zone. Herman Moore up. Touchdown, Lions. Herman Moore. In overtime, Moore's second effort paid a huge dividend and set the stage for still another overtime game-winning field goal. 20, 15, more to the 10, and inside of the 8-yard line. I thought he was down. I did, too. Beard, who's been around for a lot longer, Dave Craig, steps in in relief, and he finds Herman Moore, the spectacular grab in front of Terrell Buckley, 31-14, but it's still a laugher, right? Because the backup scored again to make it 38-14, but look at Craig to Herman Moore. 49 yards, and he takes it down to the 10-yard line. And that sets up Craig, 38-22. Watch the onside kick. Ding, 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 ding. Bing! Oh, my goodness, Herman Moore could have scored a touchdown almost, except for the one man that the Packers hit back. So, still down 16. Craig, across the middle of Herman Moore, touchdown! The Lions in it! This is where the patience of Dave Craig pays off, looks to his left, pumps two, three times, doesn't get the nervous feet, stays in the pocket, comes back, delivers to Herman Moore for the touchdown at the back of the end zone. And down by 16, they went for two and got it, 38 to 30. Moore caught eight for a buck 51. Game may be better off with Craig in there instead of Scott Mitchell. And here he hooks up with Herman Moore. Moore's ninth touchdown of the season. It's a 7-7 game. It was just the time to begin a playoff run. Craig, deep hand off to Barry, cuts right, flip back off, blue flicker. Dave Craig's got Herman Moore wide open, got a touchdown! Number 84 rolled up a career-high 169 yards on seven catches, and the Lions had the horses to stay in the race. The Lions offense boasts a balanced group of receivers anchored by Herman Moore, who has combined physical toughness with finesse to become only the seventh receiver in team history to go over the 1,000-yard mark. Moore's 1,173 yards were the second highest, and his 72 catches were the most ever by a line receiver. Fourth down, Moore up and grabs it and takes it in! In the process, he earned his first Pro Bowl berth. It's against arch rival Green Bay. Not at all unusual in the NFC Central, the most competitive division in the NFL. And I think a lot of that is the quarterback. The quarterback and three sensations. Herman Moore took the first steps toward his first All-Pro season with a 10-catch, 131-yard day. Oh, over the man. shoulder, Herman Moore! What a catch! But the Lions... He's had a 100-yard game. Scott Mitchell. Well, he has this weapon on the outside. Herman's Moore beats Donald Frank, 47-yard touchdown, plus a field goal makes it 10. Mitchell back, pumps once, goes for Herman Moore, up for got it! Touchdown, Lions, what a grab! In between Eric Davis and Merton Hanks, what? Herman Moore for the touchdown. Holy mackerel, what a grab. San Francisco answered. Wayne Fonce's Detroit Lions. You saw Scott Mitchell against the Niners last time they played. Look at him to Herman's Moore. And the angular one slices through the Cleveland defense. Then Mitchell, Moore, 15-yard boy. If this is the Scott Mitchell, we're going to see downfield. Same drive from the 17. Scott Mitchell lofts to Herman Moore. He's just bigger than Craig Newsom. And the deficit now 20 to 7. Wayne Font says we come from behind before. Mitchell to Herman's Moore. Beats Newsom at 27 to 21. A field goal makes it Sanders. Dwayne Font says, again, we can't win. Let's get Scott Mitchell going. And the big left-hander points to his receiver where to go. Spike up. Herman's Moore, 17 years play. They're booing Daryl Green at this point. As Mitchell, it's Herman Moore for 11 between defenders. Runs into the 28. Then a 28-yard drive. Boy, you like it when it's like that. Scott Mitchell to a Herman Moore. Touchdown. Get a big play. And who else to make it than Herman's Moore? Mitchell hangs in. Moore, usually you see him go up for the ball, but this time he's gone. He could go all the way. 69 yards, 14 to 3, Detroit. Yeah, Herman Moore, great receiver here in a sprint. He gets a little help from his receiving mate, Brett Perriman, right there as he peels off the last couple of blockers. Doug Evans taken out. Just passed Earl Campbell for 10th on the all time running list. Scott then Mitchell to Moore. Yeah, Scott Mitchell will go to Moore again. And you see Craig Newsom just turned around late on the football. Moore in his height, he's going to grab most of those. That's in the first half, Tom. In the drive, Murkowski to Herman's Moore. Look at the big fella into the end zone. Touchdown, 
Filling in for an injured Scott Mitchell, the Magic Man threw for 161 yards and the game-winning touchdown. The 24-17 win wasn't exactly pretty, but the Lions' modest two-game win streak kept their playoff hopes, however remote, still alive. All they could do was control their own destiny and win the remaining five games on their schedule. For any pass defense, especially when Herman Moore lines up on the other side. Number 84 has improved in each of his five seasons in Detroit. The reason is simple. The man works hard at his craft. It's very important to be disciplined and uh, to go out and dedicate yourself to getting better and understanding that the minute you start thinking you've, you've reached your peak is the time you start to decline. We're admitted to the stadium. It's 28-24 Minnesota. 31-27 Minnesota in the third. Mitchell going up top. Herman Moore touchdown. One of Mitchell's four TD. The Detroit Lions saved their best football for the desperate days of December. Dances away to the 40, to the 35. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Lions. Herman Moore, 47 yards as he got away from two Chicago Bears. King of size. Love the Lions, their wideouts and the height. Next play, Mitchell and Moore breaks the tackle and route to a 46-yard touchdown catch down the sideline. 7-0 Lions, and they're roaring in Pontiac. Fonts then would see Herman Moore take over. Moore wide open, had all day for the first down catch, then knocked out of bounds. Mitchell this time forget the sideline across the middle to Moore. Dave Wanstead hoping for a comeback. But the Lions is too much. Herman Moore, team record, tying a team record with his 13th catch of the game, 100th of the year. Lions drop 27 to 7. Moore would finish with another catch. He's unbelievable. Scott Mitchell, play fake to Sanders, hit Herman's Moore. Touchdown. 7 0 and Moore breaks Bobby Lane's old war oiler turnovers. There, Mitchell. To Herman Moore. Oh man, is there anything he can't do? 24 to 10, Detroit. Chris Chandler, er tank now. Second quarter, more of the same. Mitchell scrambles. They just have an army out here, Tommy. Nice seam pass to Herman Moore for 21 yards. 24 to 3 in the third quarter. Only thing to be determined. Would Herman Moore break Chris Carter's single season reception record? There it is. 123 catches. The only drama left was played out by Herman Moore who set his sights on the all-time record for catches in a season. With his 123rd reception firmly tucked away, Moore called it a day. And the Lions concluded one of the most improbable seasons in their history. And Herman Moore were not enough for the Lions to move on. The loss was a bitter disappointment and a stiff test of their character. 13 on the right, but... Scott Mitchell now looking calm. Herman Moore, four interceptions last week. Better today. This one, a Herman Moore touchdown who had eight catch NFL touchdown. What a great moment. 347 left in the third. 17-3. Mitchell to Herman Moore. Takes a hit, but hangs on. 29 yards, Tom. Again, great concentration by Herman Moore. He knows that Mike Zordick is going to make the hit here. Concentrates, pulls the ball in and shows the great balance, just keeps on going down the field. Now the Eagles hit a Tampa Bay. Meanwhile, what about tackling of the Bucs? Well, missed tackles contributing to the Detroit success. Here, Herman Moore catches the ball and gets field day, despite the fact that Tampa had the ball for a lot of the first half. Scott Mitchell to Herman Moore. Herman had a big day. Ready to go in the third. Hoss down, but not out. So Scott Mitchell says, you know what? Uh, we got to do something here. Next play, Mitchell, slant, Moore, drive a buck 50. It's 34 to 7. Who cares? The right wing. Raiders go three and out. First and goal. Herman Moore steals the touchdown from Terry McDaniel. Drive took a minute 29. Today, playing for the injured Scott Mitchell to Herman's Moore. Six yards, touchdown. Lions lead 14 13. Meanwhile, John Freeze. Look at that. Scott Mitchell drops and finds Herman's Moore. A little underthrown, 43 yards, though. It's a touchdown, 7-3 Detroit. Yeah, and what makes this catch is the height advantage that Herman Moore has over Ronnie Bradford at 5'10", Herman Moore 6'4". You get the grab. Two plays later, second and 10, Lions at the 25. Mitchell had missed nine straight passes, but his 10th perfect to Moore, 25 yards, 21-17 Detroit. More catches, more yards, more milestones. On Sunday, not only did Herman Moore catch his 500th career ball, 
but he also went over 1,000 yards receiving for the fourth consecutive season. Hey, not bad for a guy whose team's featured weapon is a running back. Can do some wondrous things, Tom. Yeah, and Scott Mitchell really on target today, understanding, throwing the ball up, giving Herman a chance to catch it. That ball is right on target. Look at him plant, get his feet down on the ground. That's a tremendous sideline catch behind the backside end like that. And so Mitchell pump fakes to Herman's more first touchdown, seven game, and the Lions. 11 yards, the Lions roll the Vikes. 38. 10-yard gain. Same drive. Mitchell to Herman Moore. Oh, it's good to be tall. Touchdown pass. Lions cut the lead to 17. All right, and Miami's up now 8. Mitchell. That's Scott Mitchell. Crank it out. Herman Moore might have pushed off. Didn't get called. 16-yard play. 30-28. Got to go for two. Mitchell looking at the same guy. Moore. Got it. Tie game. 30 apiece. Hey, Murray. 13-7 Minnesota. Late first half. Scott Mitchell. Herman Moore, great catch, calls timeout, but Jason Anson missed a field goal. Kick, 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 30 seconds. Mitchell. Herman Moore, down to the 12. And then he spikes the ball. What a patient drive by Scott Mitchell. So Dwayne Washington gets flagged, and Herman Moore gets the touchdown. Moore ties the game on the pass for Mitchell with three seconds to go. Jason Hansen.